So in this video today, I want to show you how you can get over 1000 alternatives to chat GPT, including GPT-4. And the best part is that you're going to get all of them using just one email and all of them will be in one place. As you can see, this bot is available for both phone users and computer users. So I'm going to show you both methods in this video. So to show you this, the one for phone users, this is the one for phone users. I've downloaded it on my on my computer using BlueStacks, which is BlueStacks is an online version of a phone. And I'm going to show you how you can get it from Google Play Store. Now let's continue and first do the one for, for computers and then we can go to the ones for phones later. Now why would you want to get some alternatives to chat GPT? The reason is very simple. Sometimes chat GPT will crash. When chat, chat GPT has crashed, you'll have no other alternative but to register for any other bot. But with this, you don't need to register for any other bot and because you'll be having access to all of them at the same time. So without wasting time, let's begin. So to begin, all you have to do is come to Google and type the word PO. Type PO, P-O-E, PO. Click enter. After that, you'll see this first one which says PO, first, helpful AI chat. So you click on this and let it open so that you can reach PO. So it will open like this. Now, mine is open like this because I had logged in. So let me first log out and show you how you can register. So if I log out, you'll see how you can register. So it, you'll, it will bring you to this page if you're not... Uh, if you don't have the account yet so if it brings you to this page it will first bring this pop-up you, you can either click on these pop-ups or you come down here and click on continue with google registering is very easy so if the moment you click on continue with google it will continue with google it will just open immediately so i click continue with google as you can see it has brought me here so if i click this down here click on one of these emails and log in so as you can see it has opened now i'm inside the bot now when you reach here if you look at this side You'll see that there are very many, all the AI models you want are here, including GPT-4. Yes, including GPT-4. But as you can see on this GPT-4, it's written limited access. That means it has limited access. You should not worry because here you can use any AI you want. And even you can add others. You see where they say explore. You can explore and add others which people, other people have created. And you can even create your own bot from here. Let's, let's first explore this first one and see what this cloud instant 100k can do. So if I click on this cloud instead 100k, I click on it, you'll see that it will open here. Now since it has opened here, it says Anthropic's fastest model with an increased context window of 100k tokens. When they say 100k tokens, they mean you can input data of 100,000 characters, the data you put in. For example, you can get a complete book as long as it has over 100,000 characters and put inside here and ask it. That means the prompt can be up to 100,000 characters yes 100,000 characters of over 75,000 words so we, the, what does this mean this means you can bring in a complete book here and paraphrase the whole book at once you understand what i'm saying you can bring in the whole book here and paraphrase the whole book at once so you just pick the book and drop it here tell it to paraphrase and to paraphrase now to make smart to make matters better you can even just upload the whole pdf here all just have to just come down here and click on this thing it will open like this and you look for the document and upload it for example if you want to to upload this acid reflux thing i click here and i say open and you'll see that it has uploaded it here now i can ask any question about this about this document and it, it will be answered so i can just tell it to maybe paraphrase the whole of this this document uh, or paraphrase or shake or recreate content from this document or remove some content from this document and use it to create my book so that is the first ai it's called cloud instant 100k now the next one as you can see is this one which is called gpt4 so gpt4 it also has limited access it's, it's a real chat gpt4 but has limited access because as you can see down here it says due to limited capacity we have had to limit message sending on this you have one free message left today across all boards that use gpt4 so they give you only one message and if you pay then you can get access to all this just now, the next one is this Cloud 2 100K. If you click on this, you can see that this Cloud 2 100K is the same like this other upper one. It also has allows a character limit 100,000 uh, characters and around 75,000 words. So that means you can still upload your whole document and ask it questions here. So the next one we can see is Cloud Instant. Yeah, this Cloud Instant accepts around 7,000 words. Then this is the normal chat GPT. This is the normal chat, chat GPT. It's also here. You have all of them in one place. If you go further, you're going to see that you have 
this is the Google model, it's called Google Palm. So Google, this Google Palm is also the same AI, you can just ask it questions and it will give you answers. Then this is the Llama model, the Llama model, you can also use this Llama model to ask your questions. And then if you come here and click on all your bots, click on this, you're going to see all your bots here, all of them are going to be here. So how many are they here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So these are 11 of them. This is just the beginning, which means you can add more bots here depending on what you want. I'm going to show you all that in this video. As you can see, the thing we say is all your bots, these are all the bots that are here. Now, let's try some of them with some prompts. So if I click on cloud, let's start with this cloud. So I click on this cloud and I ask it to write for me a book, maybe a Mediterranean diet book. So let me start. So I'll tell it, write a table of content, write a table of content for a Mediterranean diet for beginners. So I write that and I click enter and wait for it. So as you can see, it's writing and it's very fast. It just pours for you the data. So as, as, as you can see, it says table of contents, introduction, uh, key components, um, chapter one key components, chapter two is here, it says meal planning, chapter three is healthy cooking, chapter four is staying on track. So you can tell it to add more, but that is it. So let's pick this same prompt and use on the next model to see and compare each of them uh, side by side. So if I copy this and I come to GPT-4, I come to GPT-4, I have only one free message. So I can click here and I use this one free message. So I paste here and change this to Mediterranean, change the spelling of Mediterranean, and then click enter and wait to see what will happen. So as you can see, it's doing the table of content. So it has said introduction, it gave me the introduction, then it says understanding, then implementing, then the diet recipes, eating out, exercises, frequently asked questions, in conclusion, appendix references. So this is what GPT-4 has given me. Uh, this is what it looks like to use GPT-4. As you can see, the, the interface is clean and it gives it fast. Now, let's go to this cloud 2. So if I click on this cloud 2 and I give it the same prompt, click on this cloud 2, give it the same prompt, same prompt that I've been using for all the others. So I click here, give it this prompt. If I give it the same prompt, I want to see what it will do. So I click here and I copy this prompt back again. And I click enter. I want to see it writes very fast, so it's producing the whole thing. So I can see table of contents, study introduction, chapter one, understanding, chapter two, getting started, chapter three, Mediterranean diet breakfast, chapter four, Mediterranean diet lunches, chapter five, Mediterranean diet dinners, um, diet snacks, beverages, chapter seven, chapter eight, supplements and exercise, chapter nine, make the diet a lifestyle, and conclusion. So as you can see, that is what cloud two. Can do for you then if you try cloud instant and see what cloud instant can do so same prompt on cloud instant instant and paste it and you see what it will do so as you can see it's pouring it very fast this is fast so table of content we have the introduction uh, what is the meaning of of mediterranean diet what is mediterranean diet it says chapter one it says foundation of the diet chapter two protein sources chapter three cooking with with the diet chapter four diet meal plans chapter five uh, transitioning then conclusion so that is cloud instant if you, if, if you go to chat gpt this one is a normal chat gpt i'm not going to try it because you you already use it most of you already use it every day then this one here is locked which has 16,000 case locked you need to pay to get access to that even this next one gpt4 is locked but then let's try this google palm and see so if you click uh, on google palm as you can see here it's a google palm when i put the same prompt can see what it's going to do so click here and see so as you can see the google palm is writing so it just pours the thing as you can see it has done very little it has done very little but it has touched the subject matter so it says the material the diet what is the diet history of the diet benefits of the diet how to follow the diet mm, the diet pyramid foods to eat foods to avoid tips to follow it also has uh, it didn't give much detail but it gave what we are looking for so that means it also it, it can also be used now we go to the llama model and see if i click on this llama model then i can click and put the same prompt inside and click enter and see what the llama model will do so as you can see the llama model is now writing it did the introduction first then it gave the foods to eat yes it gave the foods to eat 
it's still giving foods to eat then it's giving foods to limit food to limit or avoid so it's giving the food to avoid so it's it's also doing the thing so now the reason why you have you can use this you can use any of this ai so that your content can be different as you can see most of them are giving different content yes you don't all give the same content so if you continue using chat gpt alone you may get be getting the same type of content all the time so as you can see this llama model has given me it has given me introduction foods to eat foods to limit meal planning diet recipes life changes common misconception and conclusion so i've used the same same prompt for all this and you've seen that some of the things are different what they give is different they, they say the same things in different ways and you can see as you can see for yourself now the next thing is that since we have tried all these models let's go ahead and try the next try to add more prompts so as i said in the beginning there are over one one hundred one thousand prompts which you can add here for this thing so if i click on this explore up here you can see that there are more prompts which you can add so if i click on explore uh you can see now we are here these are all prompts so if you can say there's popular official funny games role play utility sports mind new programming cooking traveling learning professional music so all what we are looking for is the prompt for writing so i've seen writing up here so if i click on so before i click on writing here let me scroll through and show you that these are there are many prompts here so that the list is endless you can see that it's still loading so these are all not not really prompts they, they're all bots they're all alternatives to share gpt but each of them is specialized for what you want to do so if i want to write a book let me say i want to write a book so i come up here to writing i just come here up here to writing i click on writing after clicking on writing i look through to see the one which can write a book so as, as you can see i've seen this one books bot books bot 09 so i can click on it and i can see if, as you can see i can help you write the book of your dreams so since it's saying that let's try it and put the same prompt we, are, we were putting earlier so if i paste this prompt here paste it and click on enter let's see what it can do so as you can see it gave you a title table of contents and it says introduction give the introduction chapter one foundation chapter two meal planning chapter three embracing the diet chapter four incorporating exercise chapter five navigating social situations chapter six overcoming challenges and chapter and conclusion so it has given the conclusion yeah this assistant is the chat gpt3 so this is the, real, the actual chat gpt3 you can use it as you want this next video is for phone users so if you're a phone user all you have to do is come to google play store come to google play store click on the search bar and type the word po like p o e p o e and click enter after you, you write po you'll see this first bot which says po first ai chat so after this you click on install it will be here the word install it will, it will be like this but it will be here so for me since i already have it downloaded it is showing that i can now open so all i have to do is just click here and open it after opening it will bring you to this page now from here just click on continue with google so i click on continue with google and it will continue to bring me this and then i can click enter to log in using google so you wait for it to log in as you can see it has brought me inside now since it has brought me here all i have to do is come to this side and click on this as you can see i have all my ai is here cloud gpt4 cloud2 cloud instant gpt4 hmm? gpt with 16k and all those so if you click on this explore bots then you can see more bots here more bots are here even the ones for mid journey this one creates for you prompts for mid journey this one's whatever gpt you can do anything you want with this one hmm? so all the bots are here all the bots are here on your phone now you can just click on the one you want and it will open here and then you can give your prompt so click here and maybe you want gpt4 you click here and you check inside the gpt4 Hmm? if you want cloud you click here and check on the cloud and type your prompt here so if i can type this the other prompt previous prompt say click control v as you can see the prompt has entered here and i can click enter and you see that it's going to work so as you can see it's working yes as you can see it is working so it's giving me what i want so this is how you use it on your phone so i'm leaving the links to all this in the description below you can click on any link if you are for a PC, you click on the link for the PC. If you are using a phone, you click on the link for the phone and get this and make your life easier. So with this, I am stopping the video here. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I don't miss what I'm going to show you in the next video.